Hey guys, it's Kim aka Spartan Stitcher on Instagram back with another monthly stitchy update. Today is the 4th of June 2023 and I didn't get much done in the month of May but I'm here to show it to you anyways because I you know hold myself accountable and just not disappear without uh, no word being seen from me. So I'm still here. I'm still stitching very slowly. Um, so last you saw me I had about a little over half a page done on Super Size Color Expansion Museum Shelf by M.A. Stewart. I was over here with the dinosaur. So I put in just over 1,700 tent stitches on this one um, to get the page finish. And there you go. So it was, there, there was a partial page here. So this whole page is now done. And I'll show you the rest of it, even though we've seen it many, many times. So that's Museum Shelf. And then I picked up my New Year New Start that I was been working on monthly in hopes of finishing it. Old Flannel Shirt by Carolyn Manning. I put in 1,200 full cross stitches on this one to get my monthly amount done for May. Um, this block right here. So this is 32 count dark cobblestone Lugana. So this block is now two thirds done. And then the two big pieces that I was supposed to work on in May were uh, Friends Forever by Ann Stokes and Trick or Treat by Randall Spangler. I went ahead and I pulled out Friends Forever because this piece is a higher priority for me because I want to finish it next year. And instead of going on my diagonal pages, I went ahead and I picked up this page. I think it's down here now. Because um, I thought it'd be quick, right? So I picked that up. There was like 24 days left in the month. Um, I have worked on this 12 of those days. I had 12 total no stitch days uh, for the month of May and in May I only put in just under 2700 tent stitches plus since today's the 4th of June I've already stitched on it a couple of days and a little bit today so it's 400 more stitches tent stitches for 3100 tent stitches or half a page um, in 20 some odd days. Uh, these were all the parked threads that I worked in and then I finished all the black and I've started on 3371 uh, last night and this morning. That's all I've done is black. I was for the 12 days in May that I worked on it I was averaging 220 tent stitches so we're talking most of those nights where there's only two lengths of thread um, and then on the weekend, one day or two days, I'd get over 400 tent stitches, which up to, up to my daily average. So pretty pathetic in my usual number of stitches I can get done, even, you know, once I got a full-time job, but this is where I'm at. I'm still making progress on it. I'm going to still work on it. Um, but then something else came up that might be slowing that down. So... In June, I'm supposed to be working on U.S. Travel Shelf and another page on Museum Shelf. Um, obviously, that's not all going to get done, but we'll stick to the stitching right now. Um, so I'll keep working on Friends Forever until I get sick of the colors or until I need a change. Um, you know, I like to work on things until I get a page finish, but that just may not happen. I just may need a, a change of scenery um, so I can keep up my motivation. So... Uh, the other thing that came up is, I don't know if you guys remember a couple years ago, like three years ago now, I stitched this piece and made a lot of changes to it. This is um, Zoo lineup by the Trilogy, and I made some changes to it, like instead of, the like I made it all safari animals. So I took out the penguin, I took out the swan, I had like a, a cheetah, and uh, I took out the panda too, and I a cheetah and a yak and then I put the baby's name here it was a commission piece um, 
for a cousin of one of my friends and uh, they have reached out again. They now have a second child uh, who's nine months old, little boy, and they would like another piece by the same person for their second child. Obviously there's no rush because he's already been born. Um, so she has no real theme for his room other than she wanted it to feel like a gentleman's cigar type, like grown up cigar type room. So she has a few child things like uh, Winnie the Pooh and Peter Rabbit and Snoopy, but then she's also has some old framed uh, prints that are landscapes, mountain landscapes, um, that, that look really cool. And so I was thinking mountains, because that was one of the other possibilities she gave me. Well, if you look on Etsy, most of the mountain type charts you see are full coverage to get, you know, that detail. So if anybody has any ideas as to a non full coverage mountain type piece, let me know, send me a message, either Instagram, Facebook messenger, leave me a comment. If you have any suggestions as like, I've been, I've been searching Etsy. I'm going to keep looking. Um, but if you have any suggestions for a mountain type chart, uh, that is not full coverage or is a very small full coverage, um, let me know because this one, I don't remember the finished size, but it, it, it was smaller than 11 by 11 Q snap. Um, I do remember that. So that is a commission piece that I will have to fit in along with the rest of my stitching. So what else is stitching related? So for the month of May, um, 4,400 tent stitches, 1,200 full cross stitches. So that gives me converting them all to full crosses, 3,400 uh, stitches for the month of May. I have to be happy with that progress because there's been a lot going on. You know, I'm, I'm moving into a house. I'm getting the house ready. So that's it for stitching progress. If you want to hear more about the house and everything else that's going on, we're going to start that now. So in the month of May, I got... Furniture delivered from two different places. Um, I got brand new appliances delivered. <laughs> Bought them from Home Depot and they were delivered in a Penske truck because they, they rent Penske trucks. Um, so that was that was amusing when they, they pulled up last weekend uh, in, a, in a Penske truck. And I did, you know, without telling them that I work for Penske. How do you guys like this truck? They like a lot. They usually, uh, they have also rented enterprise trucks and they said the Penske truck is better so <laughs> that was funny um, I have moved almost all the boxes and stuff that are downstairs have been in downstairs in my parents basement for two years that has all been moved over um, I have bought a ton of stuff for the kitchen uh, so that's almost all set um, just been a lot of, of getting stuff ready since my bedroom set has been there for three, two weeks now. This is the third weekend that, um, on the weekends only, I'm actually sleeping over there. So I don't have to share my bedroom with Hopper at night because for the last two years, you know, his main cage is out in the main part of the house, but he sleeps in my bedroom and we wake each other up and we disturb each other and it's annoying. So on the weekends, now that I have a bedroom set over there, I've been sleeping over there. And this weekend, the girls and Liesl also joined me. So their beds are still here. Um, so they were sleeping on the couch and the love seat over there. Um, and Liesl was, you know, I took, I took her dog bed over. So she was sleeping with me. She's starting to get used to the house and, and being comfortable with it. Um, and, you know, running around the, the yard. And um, so that's been good. Uh, their last day of school is... Uh, this Thursday so they got four days of school left and the reason like I could have moved their beds over before that but they're at the point now where next school year they're going to different schools so my oldest this is her last four days of fifth grade so she'll be going to the middle school and the um, school district here has two different elementary schools and they split them up by grades kindergarten through second and third through fifth so my youngest will still be 
in elementary school but going to a different school and both that second elementary school and the middle school are within eye shot of the house that I bought so it'll be real cool for you know starting next school year but it's not convenient for the last few days of this school year which is why I haven't moved their you know beds and the rest of their furniture and stuff over there yet what we have done is we started going through clothes because now it, you know temperatures are warmed up so we're seeing what fits what doesn't fit what you know what clothes they need to buy slowly going through the toys what toys don't you want anymore let's you know we don't need to move those to the new house let's just go ahead and take them you know and donate them um, so we're making that process and, and probably next weekend we'll be moving uh, their beds over and, and all the rest of their clothes and everything and then they can start we can all start living there on a daily basis um, so that'll be happening in June so of course that's gonna affect my stitching as well um, a couple weekends ago my oldest had her first horse show of the season um, so that was fun we were supposed to haul more than just Spencer but somebody backed out so we just hauled Spencer over there um, carpool not carpooling uh, what's the word we were following somebody else um, from the, from our barn that was also hauling horses so we all had stalls together and it was a it was a excuse me a fun time and my oldest did really well uh, she got ribbons and placings in three out of the four classes that she entered uh, and was even beating adults uh, in some of them so that was pretty cool I don't know when her next show will be like I am riding again I have uh, been on Spencer a couple of times but that's not my priority right now is, is I'm trying to get everybody moved over there so I don't know when I'm gonna show when she's gonna show next because I'm just concentrating on, on uh, us moving so that's what's going on for June I guess I will see you at the end of the month or beginning of July uh, with an update see how things are going uh, I hope everybody is having a good start of your summer I did not participate at all in full coverage fanatics bingo because I just had too much going on uh, I have been working probably average 11 and, a, and 11 to a 12 hour days um, and then it's a 45 minute drive there it's a 45 minute commute so you know I'm, I'm out of the house almost 14 hours and then my brain is just tired and so that's why there was 12 no stitch days too is because I get home I eat put the girls to bed do a little bit at the house oh that's one of the other thing I um, when I got those new appliances last week one thing you have to do with a new uh, oven is you cannot get a new oven if you have a bird in the house because there is some things that get burned off the first few times that you use it that there is a bit of an odor but it doesn't harm us but it would kill Hopper so um, last weekend and then a couple nights through the week I've been going over there in the evenings and cooking and baking just to break in the new oven if you will um, so it'll be safe for when he moves over so <clears throat> I've made a couple different desserts I've made um, like I made a frozen pizza the other day just because you know pizzas you, you have to get that oven up higher so uh, you know everything's worked fine it's just just those things you're doing to get ready to move into a new house so that's what's going on with me I hope every and I put my back out uh, so it's been a slower weekend that's why I actually got some stitches done this weekend um, stress in combination with picking up and moving boxes and my back finally said no so I'll be getting some more stitching done today uh, enough of my rambling I didn't think this would be 15 minutes long so we'll see you guys later have a good stitching month and uh, catch it in July bye guys